Hello, my name is Lan Chan and welcome to my presentation on muscle recruitment. My objective is to provide information about the muscle recruitment and the biology behind it. Also, give example of types of muscle recruitments and what to do to improve these muscles. So what is muscle recruitment? Muscle recruitment or motor unit recruitment is the muscle activation of additional motor units to accomplish an increase in contracting the strength in a muscle. So there are three major muscle types. Cardiac muscle is responsible for the muscle in your heart. Skeletal muscle is responsible for the muscle that moves the bone. While smooth muscle is responsible for the muscle in the digestive system. Cardiac and smooth muscle are both involuntary while skeletal muscle are voluntary. So within the skeletal muscle, there are three different types. There's slow twitch, moderate, and fast twitch. Slow twitch muscles is a small red muscle fiber. It produces a small amount of force when the muscle contracts. It contains high amount of mitochondria which uses oxygen as energy. It has a high fatigue resistance and is usually active during low intensity activities such as jogging and walking. Moderate muscle or intermediate red muscle uses oxygen and glucose for energy. It's quicker in contraction and speed in comparison to low twitch muscles, but the resistance in muscle fatigue isn't as high. It's usually active during activities such as hiking and swimming. Fast twitch muscles are white in color due to its lack of oxygen. Its main source of energy is glucose. It's the fastest twitch muscle of the three, but fatigues really easily. Usually involving high impact and heavy resistance training, this muscle is usually activated during weightlifting and sprinting. One thing I found interesting is that there is a way to find your muscle type with just a couple of simple calculation. What you would do is to look for your max weight, find what 80% of your max weight is which is also known as your R1 and see how many reps you can do. Based on the number of reps you can do with your R1, you can determine what specific muscle fiber groups you are using. In this slide, I have the number of reps that determine the type of muscle fibers you are working. As you can see, fast twitch muscle requires you to do 4 to 7 reps due to how quick it can become fatigue, whereas slow twitch muscle goes from 12 to 15 reps due to its excellent endurance.
You can also train these muscle fibers. For example, due to its high endurance, resistant training is the best training for slow twitch muscles. You will want to increase the tension of the muscle while doing high reps while working in a slow tempo. You can use resistant bands that has different levels of resistance or do lightweight lifting. Fast twitch training usually involves quick bursts of power and speed and strength. Any explosive type of exercise can increase this muscle fiber. Some exercises include box jumps, medicine ball slams, squats, and bench press. Lifting heavy weights will give these muscle fibers the explosion and strength it needs in short term. While training these muscle, you will want to try lifting 90% of your R1. Thank you for watching my video presentation on muscle recruitment. I hope this short presentation gives you a small insight on these muscle recruitment and hopefully help you with your ideas on how to train these certain muscle fiber.